Um, welcome to the live meeting of the Binghamton Local Development Corporation. Um, you have before you the minutes from the June 23rd, 2022 regular meeting. I'm open for a motion whenever anyone's ready. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. Thank you, Mayor. Second. Second a motion. Thank you, Frank. Um, any comments or questions or changes? All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Um, Rachel, the 2022 June financial report, please. All right. So with the financial report, let's start on page four with the restricted account. Uh, the end of month balance in the restricted account was one million one hundred eighty-nine thousand seven thirteen and forty-five cents. If we skip over to the UDAG account on page six, the end of month balance in UDAG was one million two hundred eighteen thousand six hundred fifty-seven and ninety cents. Uh, the next page. Page seven, we have the UDAG receivables. Um, a couple of updates here. Um, so 142 Port Street, it appears that they have not paid. They have still not paid, um, but they did just resume paying their insurance. So I assume that we will be next on the list. Um, I have several letters and communications out to them. Um, Ellis Brothers, it looks like they didn't pay in June, but that was because they prepaid the June payment in May. Um, and Tom Haynes, paid his, uh, his, his payment was late, but his payment did come in. Um, and then down in the COVID loans, Champs also paid, um, and I believe that they are paid off now. Um, so they're all set. Um, still outstanding, Ariel Hendricks, um, and we are in communication with her to help her figure out how she is gonna get back on track. Uh, the next page, the unrestricted account, there was no activity. Uh, Broom Enterprise Triad account, no activity. Mayor's Veterans Initiatives, no activity. Um, and the grant account, no activity. Uh, so the uh, delinquency percentage at the end of the month um, was 0.12. Does anyone have any questions? Yes, um, but it didn't go in until uh, month or so July. after okay. so July. July. Yeah. yeah, but yes, we are paid off. Rachel, can you know the pair joined as well? Oh, yes. Should we approve that report or do we just? Uh, no. Oh, thank you. That's the resolutions. <laughs> yes. So we have no old business. Um, on this new business, there is a, a bunch of stuff here. So let's just dig right in. Uh, the first resolution, 22-11. It's a resolution of the Binghamton LDC adopting an, explore, an explanatory statement related to the value of property at the Charles Street Business Park. Um, it's required under public authorities law, so it's just right. establishing the price that we're selling the property for. There's a, you, there's a copy in your packet of the document. Um, I'll take a motion when everyone's ready. I'll make a motion on resolution 22 11. Mayor, do we have a second? I'll second. Any comments or questions? Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion's carried. Resolution 2212 is a resolution of the BLBC authorizing the president to enter into a real estate option agreement with Shrine Group Incorporated for Charles Street Business Park Lots 4, 5, and 6. Um, the only thing I'll say about this at this point is that 
this is just a this is just an option. So there's a lot of work that would need to be you know, put into uh, an actual project. So we're you know this is a this is an important first step, um, and this is a reputable company from California um, that is in the space has been in the space for a while. But there's a lot of things that have to happen between now and uh, and when a project actually gets going. So do we any any other discussion about this at this point? Just to note that I have the year wrong. It commences on July 28, 2022, not 2023. So we'll make that edit. Okay, thank you for that, sir. Um, I'll make a motion when everyone's ready. I'll make a motion on resolution 22-12. Do we have a second? I'll second. Comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Resolutions carry, is carried. Resolution 2213 is a resolution of the Binghamton LDC approving a special projects loan to Claw Enterprises LLC in an amount not to exceed $150,000 from the Urban Development Action Grant UDAG account for equipment and working capital. Should we note, Susan, at this point that? Um, this, these loans are contingent upon the company receiving um, bank financing. Bank, bank so, financing. so they've secured a hundred thousand um, dollars from Street Act. Um, so that and and that money um, is going to be very flexible in terms of their repayment. And um, Street last, Act is just a Street Act is a this is, my, this is my NPR moment. Yep. Street Act is Southern Tier Regional Economic Development Council Loan Corporation. Fund Corporation. That's yes. Run by George Miner and yep. based to Corning. Yep. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. No, no, that's okay. So last time I spoke with Jacob, um, they are working right now with two banks. Um, and, and the loans that the whole project ask is about a million dollars. Um, and they've got some equity in there in terms of their um, grants to be received. Um, so 250 from us. 100 from Street Act, and then the bank loan would be about 450,000. Um, the banks that they're working with right now will require SBA guarantee uh, loans. So um, I think it'll take some time uh, for them to do so. Um, so that's where it stands. So all of this for us is contingent upon them receiving bank financing. One piece of a larger puzzle in there. And yeah. I'll note that these are being both 2213 and 2214 are coming at the recommendation of the loan committee. And I would note that the mayor was was out on a job site like 20 minutes after he got married, um, <laughs> you know, talking about how uh, the city's using the product in, in, in their projects. So, yeah. all right. Motion to approve 22-13. I'll make a motion. Okay, Brian, we'll give the second to the mayor. All right. Fighting. <laughs> Any comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Thank you. And Susan talked about the second resolution. This is 2214, um, approving a revolving loan to Claw Enterprises LLC in an amount not to exceed $100,000 from the revolving loan fund for equipment and working capital. Um, Please. Uh, before you guys jump in there, I just want to, if you don't mind me making some comments on that because of the restricted loan aspect of it. Yep. Okay. Sure. Um, this is the first restricted loan since uh, I think I started here and since our, we had some of the issues with HUD. So, but we need to tighten up our process on making sure that the restricted loan process is done uh, correctly and is tracked accordingly. So, I'll have to work with Chuck and, uh, and uh, Brian on that. Um, but I just we just need to be I don't want to happen to just find out the check got cut and <laughs> two months later be told that. So I just uh, yeah, I'll come up with some, a solid process between. on that, including the closing. We still got plenty of time, yeah. but yeah, we'll come up with a formal process on that. It's nothing restrictive. It's nothing that's going to even impact the agreement itself. It's the internal city process right. on that to make sure we're doing it right. And the reason we're doing this in two separate loans is that the restricted loan has job requirements associated with it, and we're so this will obligate them to create three jobs. Um, they are expecting to create more than that, but this gives them a conservative estimate that we know they can hit and won't have any staff lose with their funding later on. And this is when we talked about where the, the, the area itself qualified them automatically? Yes. And that's that's definitely a good thing going forward that there is an area, there are areas of the city where 
just simply the business being there automatically qualifies them under the restricted loan. All they have to do is create jobs. So that's that's a, a good target for the future. Sorry. Thank you. Yep. Okay. You have a motion for approval. Yeah, Ryan and much, I did. Too much caffeine. I'm sorry. Okay, so we have a motion. We have a second. We have some discussion. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. I guess it's not right. enough caffeine. I guess right there. Um, resolution 2215 is a resolution of the Binghamton LDC authorizing the president to enter into an agreement with La Chase Construction Services LLC for conceptual estimating services. Um, you want to make any comments on this? Uh, the LDC has uh, an ownership interest in the Boscos building at 1113 Court. Um, mm -hmm. As most people know, that building's in need of significant repairs, um, some deferred maintenance over the years. So this is just the first step in us understanding what actually needs to be done there, how much it's going to cost, enabling us to put together a financing and funding package that makes sense for all the parties involved. Yeah. When we get um, you know estimates from whether it's Boscovs or, or vendors, you know we want to make sure that we're we have on, on solid ground and have somebody representing the BLEC's interests and understanding the, the true costs maybe even cost savings so because this is valued below five thousand dollars for a per procurement policy this is the way that we would enter into that agreement there's a copy of the, the letter from um, adam green in your packet um, um, i'll take a motion for this please i'll make a motion thank you mr mayor second Second. Thank you, Susan. Any other comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thanks very much. On the strategic priorities committee. Sarah? I was unable to join us at the last strategic priorities committee, so. Um... Some anything specific you wanted to talk about. I think it's been a continuation of our conversations over the past few months about the types of businesses we want to be supporting. And obviously, this uh, meeting is indicative of the fact that we're taking lots of active steps towards that work. Um, is there anything new that came out of that meeting? I believe so. No, most of the discussion we had was um, around Claw and Shrine. So, okay. great, good stuff. Okay. First of all, I want to um, I want to thank the members of the BLDC for their support on uh, the resolution with the Shrine Group or Stizzy, which is the brand name. Um, you know, we're we're really on the cutting edge here in Binghamton, and everyone in this room is a part of that. Um, you know, as Patrick mentioned, that this is just the first step in a very long process, a lot of which involves decisions that will not be made by people in this room regarding cannabis licenses in New York State. But I think that, you know, for all intents and purposes, this is the first major step in upstate New York for a municipality taking a leading role, partnering with a uh, really well-established cannabis uh, cultivator, producer, and a, and a number one brand nationally uh, to, to partner on a project. So, you know, this has the potential for significant job creation, significant investment into the Charles Street Business Park. And, you know, with cannabis, I think that the municipalities that are that are on the forefront and are on that leading edge will be the ones that uh, benefit the most from this industry. It's coming to New York. Um, the cannabis that's sold it has to be grown, manufactured in New York as well. So Binghamton has really positioned itself well. And we have the CEO of, again, a top brand uh, in America saying that Binghamton is where they want to be in what will be the second largest cannabis market in the United States. So it's very exciting. Um, there's a lot of due diligence ahead of us. Uh, we have to adopt zoning laws, uh, which will be headed to city council uh, uh, this week or at their next meeting or talking to the planning commission at their next meeting. And, and really it's, and it's an exciting project and one I'm really looking forward to. Uh, on Claw Industries, uh, as Patrick mentioned, um, we are a customer of Claw. The city of Binghamton uh, has identified the product as one that is a stronger, uh, less carbon emissions, and actually easier to form uh, than some of the standard uh, concrete that we use. Uh, 
So uh, the fact that we're able to support a small business, a prior BLDC business plan competition winner, and now uh, to be you know a, a recipient of a BLDC loan is, I think, a great story for economic development in Binghamton. I can tell you that you know I'm talking to municipal leaders really locally, and I plan to take you know this message as well to the New York Conference of Mayors that we have you know a new product here, and that municipalities should be looking at recycled glass as a way to make stronger, more efficient concrete. And I think it's just the beginning. I, I think we can get statewide attention for this company. They are a born in Binghamton company out of the uh, incubator and, and locating on the east side. So it's a great story to tell and, and one that I will be telling uh, as much as I can across the state. Uh, as it relates to Boscov's, um, you know, we're continuing to uh, get more concrete ideas about what the cost will be for that facility. Um, I attended a walkthrough, you know, last week and saw areas that I didn't even know existed uh, in that store. And, you know, LeChase will be able to help us out in terms of understanding what a build out could look like, what are the different options with that building as we come to decision points, certainly with the ultimate goal of upgrading that facility and uh, keeping Boscov's as a long term a tenant. So, We'll be working with them. We know that that's just the beginning of, of what the city's involvement in that project will be. Uh, and no doubt millions of dollars that's needed for that building. It's no secret. We got to make sure that the millions are spent correctly and accomplish both the goals of Boscov's and also the goals of the BLDC, who's ultimately the landlord of the property. So uh, with that, I'll turn it over to Sarah for, uh, for her remarks. Great, thank you. Um, I'll suck in the mayor's comments on, on cannabis. As you all know, the Charles Street Business Park has been vacant for 20 plus years. Uh, this is the first real concrete interest we've had. We brought an option to the board earlier this year um, that has not yet moved forward. But this represents you know, the first significant action we've had at the park. Um, we hope that it demonstrates to other businesses that the Charles Street Business Park, the lots that are still available, that those are great places to move to. This company came to us and, and said, hey, we see you have a great piece of land and that's the place that we'd like to be. And we were able to start the negotiations from there. And we welcome any other businesses that would like to have those conversations to reach out to us, reach out to the mayor's office and start those conversations. Um, well, just fun things, because that's, that's where I want to be at this point in my day. Uh, downtown Courtyard Market started in July. So if you haven't had a chance to check that out, it's at the newly renovated Metro Center courtyard had a lot of good feedback the vendors are doing a good business over there um, a lot of our black owned local businesses bend at that market and have seen great success in building their brands uh, so definitely give that um, give that a look if you're able we also just had the martini walk one of eat bing signature events that the bldc and the um, economic development department support through advertising and just through helping them coordinate any issues that they have uh, and that was a, a great success, and they're hoping to be able to grow it even more next year. They were a little smaller. They maybe canceled in 2020. We're pretty small in 2021, grew some in 2022, and hopefully we'll get them back to their, their fighting weight for 2023. Um, also in the last month feels like, can't believe this all happened in a month, but I believe we made the Binghamton Plaza announcement in the last month. Um, so the city of Binghamton is proceeding with uh, a motion that will essentially allow us to proceed with eminent domain at the Binghamton Plaza. I imagine that the BLDC will be part of those conversations um, if and when we're able to take title to that property. It's an infinitely developable site in a strategic corridor of our city and, and we're looking forward to be able, being able to get that back into productive use and supporting our north side neighborhood. Uh, last but not least, if you've been in downtown Binghamton lately, you have seen the giant purple mural on the side of the Raskeller building on State Street. Um, the city of Binghamton, was proud to just you know support that project and say we were happy to have that in the city. Um, I will give a lot of credit to the county on that one, but it's obviously an asset to the city and something that, as we're looking to attract businesses, people who want to work here, people who want to come downtown, um, coming over that bridge on on State Street and having that be the first thing you see in downtown is a great benefit for us, and we're really uh, happy and excited to have that here. Um, and I think that's all for me, unless there are any questions. Last thing I'll say is um, we don't know yet whether, we keep saying this every month, we don't know whether we're going to be able to have virtual meetings moving forward. Um, so we'll see if the executive order is extended again for August, but at this point we'll plan on, on the August meeting being in person. We are going to look to see if, if there's a need for an August meeting, if we're able to 
give you guys kind of that summer board break that a lot of boards see we will but if there's things we need to advance we'll we'll have you together but we won't do it just to just to keep you all in a room on a hot summer day right before labor day Brian, do we have any other updates on the um executive order and what that means no okay. We usually wait to about the day or two before it runs out. But it's <laughs> extended out. <clears throat> Great. That's all for me. So the fear is that it's going to come crashing down all on one day. <laughs> mm -hmm. like one day's notice and change everything up. <laughs> that sounds about right. right. Thank you both. Um, any, other, any other business for the board this morning? <clears throat> all right. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Do we have a second? Thanks, Brian. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you all very much for your support. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.